Tuttle here for Ferguson Roof Systems. For 43 years, Ferguson Roof Systems has been protecting Oklahoma's homes and businesses with quality roofing services. Their goal was to be the most honest and dependable roofing company in the state, all while providing free services such as lifetime labor warranty and annual inspections. Well, mission accomplished with thousands of client testimonials, an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, and a five-star rating on Google. Look, the weather gives you enough to worry about, so why worry about who to trust with your roof? Call Ferguson Roof Systems today or find out more at fergusonroofsystems.com. Happy Friday to you, meteorologist Aaron Tuttle, back with you here at uh, just about 10 minutes before noon. The a quick live weather update as far as what is happening out there with the weather. Do have some showers and thunderstorms. Will those be severe? Will those impact your Friday afternoons? We're going to answer those questions and more. So thanks for tuning in on uh, all the social media platforms out there. So on Rumble Land, appreciate you. YouTube as well. Good to see you. And of course on Facebook. I see you, uh, Sherry, already throwing me some stars for this uh, lunchtime. Appreciate that. I always appreciate you guys' support no matter which form it is in. If it's just liking the video, sharing the video, telling your friends and family about AT's weather, um, picking up a few of those AT's weather t-shirts and hoodies that I've had out there for the last few years. Um, all that stuff helps and it all is appreciated. Uh, let's see, Jeff, uh, YouTube, hello from Blanchard's checking in. Homesteading with a purpose for more. <laughs> all right, we got Midwest City, uh, Eduardo. Let's see, we got Debbie. She says, happy Friday. Uh, or Orlando, how about that? Gophers World's checking in. Um, and then Southwest Oklahoma's in the house. Appreciate you guys. Angie, I see you also for uh, some Facebook stars. Thank you very much. Lisa from Mangum. Uh, let's see, uh, Kim's in the house from Crowder. Jessica's here. Who else we got? We got Lee from Enid. All right. So a lot of you guys are coming in. So let's get on with the program, shall we? Uh, also want to let you guys know that you can join in to the, it's free. It's the uh, weather opt-in option here uh, for the Facebook broadcast channel or the other option I've been having for the last couple of years. And that is through um, like a third party interface where it says opt-in weather updates. Either one will work. Um, for that, but you can opt in that way you don't miss a live broadcast because we're getting into the severe weather season. You know what that means? There'll be more broadcasts coming at you <laughs> to talk about the, the weather that's coming than the tracking the weather as we speak. Now, if you notice, like yesterday, last night, I don't track just regular thunderstorms. Um, that, those are a dime a dozen, so not a big deal. I track the tornadoes and then I'll track a severe thunderstorm if it is a magnitude of significance. In other words, ridiculously large hail. You know, winds gusting over in excess of like 70, 80 miles per hour. That kind of stuff I'll track because um, those are on the rare end. Everything else is garden variety, typical stuff we get here every every year, every spring, etc. All right, let's take a look outside. Currently, we've got cloudiness still. You might even have some sprinkles in your neck of the woods. Otherwise, uh, temperatures have cooled down. My goodness, got winds gusting out of the north northwest here. Uh, my temperatures dropped down to 43 degrees. It's a lot cooler than it was just a little while ago. Um, so unfortunately, that is what we're going to have to deal with here for the rest of this afternoon as those temperatures will not be recovering. If we take a look elsewhere across the state, you can see that the numbers are into the 40s into southeast, or excuse me, 40s into central Oklahoma, but dropping into the 30s in the panhandle. Um, actually below freezing once you get north and west of Woodward and Arnett, and then into the 50s still in southeast Oklahoma. So it is cold across the whole state, uh, but as far as, um, you know, what we saw yesterday, that's long gone. There is a little thunderstorm right here around the village coming into Edmond and Piedmont, little bitty, uh, little bitty guy, no big deal. Otherwise, some other light showers uh, sc scattered here from Hennessy, Kingfisher, uh, Weatherford, Bessie. All this stuff is just light to moderate rainfall down here south into southern Oklahoma as well. Winniewood down here to Velma and Duncan. And all this activity is moving off to the east today. So we're going to get more rainfall moving through here as we speak over the next few hours. And then everything kind of clears on out for later into tonight. Now, rainfall amounts are pretty significant. Uh, we had anywhere from really a quarter to about three quarters of an inch of rain here in central Oklahoma. So that's a pretty good rain uh, over a period of time. Here in the little uh, green area, that's about an inch of rain down here in southern and southeast Oklahoma, a lot more inch, inch and a half in some cases. Now I know there's some spots up here, didn't get a whole lot north of Tulsa and kind of spots out here in northwest Oklahoma, but that's kind of the way it goes. You don't, everybody doesn't always get guaranteed rainfall. Well, let's see where the rainfall is going to go for the rest of this afternoon. Let me forward this on into our noontime period. So this is the model data as we head into uh, our Friday. So there's a little batch of showers showing up. We just showed you on the radar view, right? 
well, through the afternoon that zips on into central Oklahoma, stretching up from uh, Bartlesville to Stillwater, et cetera, through 4 o'clock, Oklahoma City, Lawton, Wichita Falls. It's headed to the 5 and 6 o'clock hour. That stuff's still rolling through and maybe it's making its way to Tulsa and all the way down the 44 and 35 corridors into uh, North Texas, uh, Lawton there still in Oklahoma City by 7. And then things start to slowly dry out and move away here in central Oklahoma. So we'll start to wrap up our rain late this evening. Uh, so probably by after 8 o'clock here in Oklahoma City. Otherwise, still raining in Tulsa around 8 to 9 and then down south. And then more showers and a few thunderstorms in southeast Oklahoma. Very, very weak, by the way. I do not anticipate any severe weather in Oklahoma for today. Just a few weak thunderstorms, a little bit of lightning. That's about it. There's some, still some heavy rainfall around midnight hour in eastern Oklahoma this after, uh, this today into tonight. And then around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, that activity starts to exit the southeastern corner of the state. And then by the time we head into our Saturday morning, the rain is gone and so are the clouds. Additional, shower, or additional showers and a few of those thunderstorms will lead to rainfall amounts Oh, anywhere from a quarter to a half inch in most cases. If you get a really good downpour, you know, that trains over a couple areas, like here out to the east, maybe up here to the north, and these little blue spots, you know, models try to do their best at picking those out. They don't ever do that good of a job. But point is, some some people get probably up to about a, you know, half to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain in addition to what you've already seen. But otherwise, most of us probably in that quarter to half inch sweet spot. All right, Winfield. Um, for today, obviously, we know it's a little breezy out there, right? And we've had a north wind. So uh, the wind, matter of fact, this is another uh, key element as to why we don't have severe weather today. If you notice, this is a snapshot of 2 o'clock in the afternoon. These wind barbs are out of the north down here in southeast Oklahoma. So uh, if you know, with severe weather ingredients, you usually need a, a south component to the wind. And you also need some warm and, hu and uh, hu humid air mass to work with. And all that's missing for the rest of today as the system moves through. Needless to say, the north winds will continue overnight. I'll move this on ahead into tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Winds do lighten up a bit. And then we'll have a, uh, a north wind on Saturday. Still, um, I'll show you the gusts, but otherwise sustained winds up around 10 miles per hour or 15. And then as we head on into Saturday night, things become light and variable. And on Sunday, we'll start today a very, very light southwesterly breeze. Otherwise, really not much wind at all for the first part of our Sunday. And then the afternoon will pick up out of the southwest a bit more, around 10 to 15 miles per hour across the western half of the state, or probably a few gusts higher than that. So overall, the weekend looks really good. Um, clouds will be getting out of here. Sunshine will return. The winds will start to die down. It'll still be cool, though. I'll show you those temperatures here in a second. But let's take a look at the wind gusts. So for this afternoon, there's some gusts in here around you know 30 to 40 miles per hour at times. So still a little breezy today. Like I said, that those wind gusts will calm down after tonight. So there's uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 still across the state, four, five, six, seven a.m. And now we get into tomorrow and you start to see the winds will calm down here starting in northwest Oklahoma, up around 20 to 30 in central Oklahoma for a little while longer. But look how quickly they diminish during our Saturday morning. So by lunchtime, just have a few gusts down here around 20, 25. Otherwise, the rest of the state is calming down, especially heading into Saturday afternoon. So much better, um, which is good because, like I say, it's gonna be a little chilly on Saturday morning. So if you've been planting, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on into Sunday. Like I said, those winds will return out of the southwest in uh, southwest Oklahoma. Wind gusts here, manageable. Looks like up around 20, uh, maybe, yeah, it's about at 20 miles per hour. It's not a huge day for wind until it looks like late in the evening. There's about 25. All right, so that's kind of how look the way the winds go. Now, temperatures. Models, of course, will not be perfect on forecasting overnight lows. They'll get pretty close. So what I always caution this time of the year, um, low-lying valley areas, you know, if you're prone to get a freeze when the rest of your neighbors aren't, you're one of those ones you got to be prepared and just kind of protect your plants. So really anywhere if you live in, I would say, the I-35 corridor, Ponca City, Stillwater, Oklahoma City, down to... Oh, Chickasha, kind of around the lot area, kind of in this real red line you see here. Even though the models don't have it hitting freezing, some of you are going to hit it. Uh, now, it will for sure be in the blue area for everybody uh, in the, around this other secondary red line from Enid down like, you know, Weatherford back out here maybe to um, Cordell and then you got Elk City back out here. So again, it'll be a freeze, hard freeze in this part of the state to the Panhandle where they'll have temperatures into the lower 20s in the morning. Now, again, that's not unusual this time of the year. This is early March that does happen. That's why we always kind of warn you. Usually, you know, the rule of thumb is Easter. You don't even plant till Easter. So <laughs> every time you do that, you risk it. All right, so for Saturday afternoon, we're gonna warm you back up, but not a whole lot. We'll be in the low 50s. 
So it'll be a little chilly for you on your Saturday. So if you do some outdoor gardening, you know, you might have to put the old long sleeve shirt on just to stay warm. Um, otherwise, it gets better for Sunday afternoon, but not after uh, before we get another cold morning. So Sunday morning, uh, once again, the models are kind of favoring all these little low-lying valleys, all kind of hit and miss. Uh, we're going to have temperatures pretty close to freezing. Uh, remember, you can also get a frost in this situation with light winds and clear skies. So pretty much a widespread frost across the state and otherwise a light freeze for many of us. Um, so again, protect your plants here in central Oklahoma, including the metro. Same thing for you guys in Tulsa. Uh, but by the afternoon, we should be back into the 60s. So much better uh, end of our weekend than the way it started as far as the heat goes. Uh, and then if you want the extended outlook after that, timbers look pretty decent. They're going to warm up quickly for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So the middle of the week is the pick of the litter back into the upper 70s. And then by the time we head into uh, the following weekend, why do we keep getting these cold fronts during the weekend? We're getting this all backwards. Uh, but now we're back into the, the low 40s. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, back into the upper 30s, mid-30s maybe even. So potential for the light freeze here for the following weekend. Otherwise, probably some frost around. Uh, but then temperatures recover 50s and 60s. So we get into that time of the year where these these little roller coaster rides still happen uh, through, you know, usually about early April. So we got another 30 days of this. Uh, but usually the significance of them is less and less over time. But as always, if you've planted something a little early, you might want to give them a little extra love. Uh, and that way they, they still like you when the rest of the warm air comes and everything starts blossoming up. So that's that's the way that goes. Um, also, I hate doing it. I know you hate doing it. Everybody hates doing it. But you got to spring forward. <laughs> so it's time to uh, lose an hour. So I don't know, man. And there's a time. Everybody can get us an argument over the whole this whole thing as to the whole daylight saving time deal and, and whether or not we need it or don't need it anymore and and why it started and how it started you know that was back when they didn't have electricity <laughs> we moved way past then that was for the farmers and everybody kind of takes their pick because it's kids at school and some you know for work and your brain and all that kind of stuff or when it gets dark and light i get it you're never going to please anyone so we go back and forth to try to please no one <laughs> so that's the way it goes so anyway you're gonna make sure you adjust your clocks saturday night for that Lee Rogers, by the way, thank you for the love and the stars here this uh, Lunchtime Live. I appreciate that. You too, Kristen. And uh, appreciate you guys checking in from, and saying where you're checking in from. Angie, thank you as well. And Brenda, also thank you for the stars. And Sherry, so very appreciative. Uh, let me see real quick. Let me think there's anything else I wanted to uh, mention while I'm thinking. Uh, let me check you guys on YouTube. Make sure you guys are good. Yeah. I uh, get a little pea size hail, are you? Um, on uh, Hefner and MacArthur. All right, that little bitty thunderstorm I showed you, it's got a little pea size hail in it. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to that. I'm just curious. Let's see what pea size hail looks like. You want to see it with me? This little guy right here. This little purple spot. See that right there? So that's when you get the little purple areas, that's when you usually get the hail within the storm. And the uh, hail detector probability. Of course, it is not severe, so severe probability is zero percent, and the size is less than half inch. So, there you go, little piece size action moving through the west side of the metro. This will this little deal here will be moving east, so you don't be surprised to get a little bit of that, maybe a strike or two of thunder, uh, lightning to hear the thunder, and that's about it. All right, well, um, again, if you're new here, appreciate you joining uh, and coming into AT's weather. So this time of the year, uh, you'll you'll usually get a lot more live broadcasts out of me. Uh, it's usually in the evenings around 9.30 and then sometimes on my lunch break. And we'll just take a look at the forecast during that period of time. And then if it comes to tracking severe weather, we'll do that as well. And um, my motto is a little different. So I used to work in television news for 12 years. <sighs> that was fun. And uh, I quit that, retired, and then uh, did some Facebook weather for a while and then decided to start broadcasting my own stuff. So um, basically do everything I used to do in TV world, but I do it without all the, the hype and the anxiety and the fear and the gloom and doom and every storm is going to kill you and every storm is going to produce a tornado and every storm is rotating and every storm is you know out to get you. I don't do any of that stuff here. So we just look at the science side of it. I actually take a look at what's in the storm. Um, and then we actually tell you what it has in it. We'll tell you what it will do um, based off its evolution. And then we'll tell you exactly who it's going to impact. And we'll do that in a calm, 
soothing voice to where you can probably just sit back, relax, close your eyes, and prepare for a severe storm <laughs> without any anxiety. <laughs> Hard to imagine you can do that, but you can. Uh, Eric, by the way, thank you for the stars as well. So I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Appreciate you. As always, download my free weather app. It's called AT's Weather to Go. Uh, you can get on Apple and Google Play. It has radar on there, so you can track all the storms. It has the live links to my broadcast and my website, AaronTuttleWeather.com, where you can find a lot of weather information. Everything's free. You don't have to pay for anything. So um, it's a service that I provide for you guys. All right, well, I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Stay dry and have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.